I hope everybody's taking care and being blessed today. <clears throat> Today's video is going to come at you. I'm going to be a little quiet because my husband's actually upstairs asleep. But I wanted to address um, a couple clients that I've been having lately, as well as if I have some viewers on YouTube. Um, I know a lot of people are going semi free form or they're free form in their locks. Uh, what that means is you're um, deciding on not to uh, retwist, um, not to maintain your locks. Um, that's good. That's fine if you want to be able to do things like that. But the only thing is, you guys, when you do stuff like that, you have to still care for your locks. You still have to wash your locks. Um, you still have to um, touch your locks every now and then. You still want to be able to moisturize your locks every now and then. And the reason why I say that, you guys, because if you don't, your hair is going to break. You're going to have uh, uh, damaged locks. You're going to have um, at the wood is going to be damaged because what happens, you guys, is the hair merge into itself. Like I have been going four weeks, y'all, without a retwist. And I have maintained locks. The difference, some people have maintained locks, some people have semi-freeform locks. And the maintained locks, they like to be able to keep their lock, uh, their parts and stuff all nice and clean. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, you guys, I like to be able to maintain my locks. I see nothing wrong with freeforming. It's all up to you and what you want to do. But like I said, you guys, you still have to maintain your hair. What I would say do, you guys, if you do see my freeform, go ahead and wash your hair at least every month. Um, and what you want to do, you guys, is when you wash your hair, I'm sorry, I'm looking at that clock up there. When you wash your hair every now and then, you guys, just go through your hair Say for instance, you guys, if you this is what I want you to do. Get in the shower, take your shower, let the steam and the water hit your hair. What you want to do is get out. When you get out, just take your hands, you guys, okay? Hopefully I'm going to think. Just take your hands. If, if you do have parts, if you started with parts, just take your hands and just run your hands through your hair. Just go run your hands through your hair. Just keep on doing it. Every single line that you have, every single part that you had, make sure you do that. Just run your fingers through your hair because this will stop your locks from merging together. Because I'm telling you, when you go without reed twists, they're going to merge together and you're going to have to pop your locks real hard. Like pop your locks real hard if you decide maybe that you want to start maintaining them. Maybe that you want to work at this certain job or maybe you want to look cute for a certain event you want to be able to keep those parts maintained now if you're the type of person you just went through and you just free form and you don't care well this video was not for you this is for the people that still want to live in society and still wants to be able to look good with their free form locks but you just make sure that you maintain them you don't have to be retwisting every such and such often unless you want to when you have locks you guys it's all up to you and what you want to do you listen to what other people say you put it to good use because no Nobody locks is the same. It's just like a fingerprint, y'all. Everybody locks is different. You can find some locks that you like, oh, I want my locks to kind of look like that. Go off of that. Maybe see if you find somebody with your texture, see what products they're using. But y'all, I have found less is more. I only use rose water. I use um, uh, vitamin E oil. I spray that every night and then I put my do-rag oil. When I get up in the morning, it don't have all those fuzzies. Um, another thing that I use, you guys, is I use sea salt and um, uh, distilled water. I include a video on that. I use that every now and then, like two days a week. And I find that's, that helps my, um, my fuzziness. And some people, when your hair is straight, it helps it to uh, lock better because it kind of get hard. I had no flakiness, no problems, nothing like that. Um, another thing that I use every now and then, you guys, is my wild growth oil. You guys, you know, you see me talk about it a lot. I've been using it for years. I not only use it for growth, but I love the way it does my hair. It makes it feel good. It makes it soft. I love everything about that um, and I use it usually you guys after my retwist it makes my hair so nice and soft or if my scalp feel like it needs some oil I'm gonna use that wild growth oil but other than y'all that y'all and I forgot you guys my flaxseed gel oh when I say I love this flaxseed gel I just made a fresh batch a good batch this is my first time getting this excellent amount I'm going to show you guys a video hopefully I can include it or have it out soon I got a video of making flaxseed gel but I make it a so different way now and thank you J.E. 
um, Sunny for letting me know how to be able to do it. And I also took a little bit off of um, Natural 85 and I tweaked it and made it fit myself. And I also like to have some essential oils in here, you guys, so it smells so good. This is what I retwist with. Okay, you guys, and like I said, just if you don't um, take a shower, just go ahead and just mist your hair. Just mist your hair with some water. Just act like you're misting your hair. And again, like I said, you guys, just take your hand and run your hands through it. Every now and then, do oil your scalp. Maybe if you want to oil it every two months, that's fine. But just give your scalp a little bit of oil and a little bit of touch and a little bit of tense of, tense of love it. Because you always got to love everything. I don't care if you freeform, you got to touch everything. That goes for uh just anything i mean like a piece of paper or uh, like a because it get dust on it i know that sounds crazy but you just gotta always touch your hair and just feel it and get those parts and once you keep them parts you're good and you're fine because you do not want to have your locks look bad i've been having a lot of clients that's been free and they don't do anything to their locks you have to do something you got everything in this world deserves some love including your locks okay you guys take care be blessed if you have any questions please let me know you guys i am eight and a half months in my life lock journey and i love it i freaking freaking love it um it will be nine months um what's the day it will be nine months july 30th I am super excited. I'm going to include a playlist of when I first started my locks. But again, you guys, hopefully that helps you a little bit about semi-free forming. If you want to try it, try it. The thing that I do like about semi-free forming, it, it makes your, it, it, your, your new growth comes in and it makes your roots nice and thick. So if you are probably having some um, tender areas in your locks, just maybe free form for a little bit and then <clears throat> you will see that your roots do get a lot thicker. But again, you guys, um, I am retwisting like every month. Um, and then maybe when I get down the line, I might change it, y'all. But I like to be able to keep my locks maintained. Okay, guys, take care of your lesson. I'll chat with you later. Bye, you guys. And if you are freeforming, let me know, you guys, how your lock journey is going too, you guys. Okay? Take care. Bye.